guys, welcome back to my channel. As you've just seen, I am not in Brighton. I am actually in northwest Spain um, in a city called Coruña. It's Galician and I am here on a kind of personal trip actually. There's a few kind of business things that I want to start doing in the future and um, my family that live here um, are going to help me do that. So I've kind of come to have a little bit of a rest and relaxation. It is a working trip. I'm working every day, but it's also such a beautiful place. I'm just here to eat really good food and get a little bit of sun because we're just not getting that in the UK right now. Um, and just like slow down a little bit. I didn't post a vlog last Sunday because if you remember a few weeks ago on a vlog, I just spoke about sometimes not wanting to put my face in front of a camera. This doesn't happen that much, maybe three times times a year but every now and again I just don't want to film I, I don't want to put my face in front of a camera and I just need to kind of decompress and I think that's how I felt last week before I came here I had some family things going on anyway and I just thought no I'm not feeling 100% where I want to film so I'm not going to do a vlog I didn't really do much content for my Instagram or TikTok I just kind of decompressed for a week and now I'm here I feel fresh, you know, I'm going to vlog again. And I just need that every now and again. I think it's just really important to listen to yourself. I'm very much like that. If I'm not feeling it, I'm not going to force anything because then it just becomes something of a chore. And I think of my life as passion. And if you haven't got the passion there or you're not feeling creative or you're just not wanting people to kind of see you and you're just not wanting to output um, yeah, it's all gonna kind of come crashing down on you. So that's how I feel. It is currently 8 a.m. The sun is shining. You've just seen a pan of the view. Um, like I said, I'm in Coruña, which is northwest Spain. Um, and they're just really known for their incredible food here. The produce is unbelievable. Um, I did go food shopping yesterday. I was kind of tired when I arrived and I forgot to put my SIM card in my vlogging camera, so missed the whole supermarket thing, but you will see it on my Instagram and I will tag the reel in um, if you want to see what I bought. And it's just really amazing fruit and veg. I got some beautiful heirloom tomatoes, some avocados. Um, I bought my Ortiz tuna, which I absolutely love. In the UK, it's so expensive, but here it's such a great price. Um, so I'm going to try and stock up on some of that before I go home. But I just bought some kind of things to have lunches. I'm self-catering. I'm going to try and do some sea swimming and just work and relax at the same time. I think that's what this week is about. And obviously begin my personal business journey, which I think you're all going to love. It's obviously all tied into what I do, which is kind of like self-care, holistic well-being, that kind of thing. And it's just for things that I want to perhaps launch at the end of this year. So let's see, um, that journey begins on this trip. But I'm just going to vlog whilst I'm here. It'll probably be, you know, what I'm eating, where I'm going, um, just some of the beautiful views and the places that is here. I'm not sure if you know already, but Karunia is the birthplace of Zara. And Zara comes under the umbrella of Inditex Group, and they have... Massimo Duty, they have Oyshaw, they have Zara, Pull and Bear, Stradivarius, it's it's everywhere and Grunia is just, you go into the town centre and they have flagship Zara stores, they have Zara Home, they have exclusive things here that they just don't have in the rest of the world. So I always love coming here and I've been many times to visit Zara, um, I absolutely love it. So I'm going to do a little bit of shopping as well and perhaps pick some things up that I might not be able to get in the UK and just, yeah, just have a really nice time. So I hope you enjoy this vlog. I've had such incredible feedback from you about my vlogging and how you're loving the well-being, the recipes that you're asking for, and they will be coming. I promise when I get back home, I'm just going to centre myself and move forward for the rest of this year. But um, one of the best kind of feedbacks that I'm getting is that you find my vlogs really calming and peaceful and I absolutely love that because I try to I try to portray that on my Instagram all the time. I want that to be a place where you come and you just feel that it's something that you want to watch and I love it that I'm able to bring that to you in a vlog as well. Every aspect of my life is going to be on the vlogs. Like, 
on my Instagram is very curated. I pick what I want to put out, but with the vlog, I just want you to be able to live the life that I live as well. And that's obviously to do with traveling. I'm not always home. So it's just how I live my kind of like well-being, holistic life whilst I'm away as well. And that's mostly down to just me being calm and relaxed as always eating the same diet as I do when I'm at home. It's very, very important for me, hence why I chose to be self-catering. I know that's not always possible, but it's just so much easier for me to be able to stay on track with that. Obviously don't have all the saunas and I couldn't bring anything like that with me, but it's okay. I don't, you know, they're the kind of things that I do when I'm at home. 90% of the time and 10% of the time I stick to it as much as I possibly can. And I think you'll probably see that on this vlog whilst I'm away. So yeah, enjoy this vlog. Um, thank you for your incredible feedback so far. I'm loving this journey. I really am. And I hope to grow this channel into something and somewhere where you can come a bit older in life. I'm 45 and that's another feedback that I'm getting. It's just, I'm 45. I really relate to you. I've just turned my 40, turned into my 40s and I'm, I'm relating to you. And that's great. And I love that I'm reaching my kind of person. It's just, it's incredible what social media and search engines can do nowadays. And um, I thank you for it. I thank you for subscribing. I thank you for sticking with me. And yeah, enjoy the Galician vlog. Not sure if I said it in the kind of intro to this vlog, but I'm staying in a cabana that I've hired for the week. I wanted to be self-catering, stick to my diet, etc. So I thought I would do a little room tour and then a bit later I'll show you like the whole kind of cabana because it's just really nice just on the beach um, and the views are incredible. So here we go. It's just a really light, kind of Nordic style, very um, wood panel everywhere. As you walk into my room, you can probably see this huge kind of like chimney flue that sticks down. It's kind of just an aesthetic thing. It's got some little candles that sit on there, but it's just really nice. And it's got a little seating area here in the corner. And as you swing round, you can see my very large bed, which looks out onto this incredible view. So I'm gonna take you out onto the terrace to show you. Isn't it just simply beautiful, peaceful? I can hear the birds. I am in a town called Mera. And if you look over here, this is Coruña, the city centre. So I'm kind of out of the city centre, but I've got a car and I can just drive around when I want to, but I just like to be here in the peace and quiet, waking up to this every day. It's R&R, &R. <laughs> that's what I'm telling myself, but isn't it just beautiful? So I'm gonna come back round now. Here I am. And walk into my bedroom, show you a little bit more. As I said, really large bed. I have a TV in the corner, but I haven't put that on yet. Super comfortable. Onto my bedside table, brought my work bits with me. So I have my notebook here, pencil, my Kindle. Absolutely love my Kindle. It's my tea from this morning. Oh, my new glasses. Move my phones out the way. I bought with me Dr. Mark Hyman, Young Forever. I'm still getting through this book. Absolutely love it. And then round to the other side, I've just got my laptop here, my AirPods Max, sunglasses, another pair of glasses because I bought two because I lost a pair. And then into my bathroom. Um, no bath in this cabana, just showers. It's a for three bedrooms. Um, and I've just got my skincare on this shelf right here. Bought miniatures with me. I don't normally do this, you know, but this kind of like Estee Lauder set arrived before I left. It's got the Advanced Night Repair Supercharged Eye Gel, the, the Advanced Night Repair Mini Serum, and the Advanced Night Repair Cleansing Jelly. I haven't used this before, loving it whilst I'm here, but what a brilliant like set, like travel set. And I thought, God, I'm, I'm actually bringing those. I'll put a link in the description because I think this set is still available. Um, it's like a special offer thing if you buy a certain amount, but great for travel. I bought my, I bought three serums, two hyaluronic acids. This one was running out, so I just threw this Niod multi-molecular in my bag before I left. Vitamin C, use it every single day. Um, I've got my mists for hydration, another cleanser because I double cleanse in the evening. 
I bought the Medicaid Crystal Retinol with me. Um, and day creams, I've got the MyBlend Revitalizing Lotion and the Moisturizing Renewal Fresh Cream from La Mer. This is new and it's really beautiful. Just, yeah, very summer focused, fresh, oily skin, sweaty skin, you know, all of those. It's a beautiful texture. I bought another miniature, Mecca Cosmetica SPF, for my favorite SPF on the planet, like without doubt, and a beautiful um, U Beauty face oil for the evenings. Um, I picked these two products up yesterday in a pharmacy. This Uriage um, is the cleansing gel that I use at home for my body. Um, and I bought one here because I didn't bring any body wash with me. And then I also picked up the anti-itch soothing oil balm because I'm having an absolute nightmare with my legs at the moment. They're just super itchy. I've obviously just kind of compromised my barrier somehow. So these two are gonna really just help soothe, relieve and rebuild um, with that. I love this brand for my body. It's nothing luxury about it, but it's functional super super functional and then i have my makeup with me in the say beauty vanity um cosmetic case i absolutely love this i'm not sure if it's actually available to buy um but i will have a look but it just fits everything in it i just bought some of my favorite daily go-to's and some face cloths from primark absolutely love these cleansing microfiber ones um, these were from the men's section um, the women's ones have like pink and lilac ones, which, you know, are not really, they don't really fit my aesthetic, but in the men's section, they have these three packs, which is black, gray, and white. They are three pounds. They are, without doubt, my favorite face cloths to use. They're just super gentle. They're not going to exfoliate, giving me extra exfoliation, and they're amazing at removing kind of oils, makeup, etc. So that's my room. Um, it's just really lovely in here. It's super calming, beautiful to wake up to that incredible view in front of me um, and just what I needed. So I'll show you the rest of the cabana when I get dressed, go downstairs because I'm going to make some breakfast in a bit. But first I'm going to have a shower, wash my hair. I haven't washed it for a few days um, and just, yeah, get ready for the day. so much better yeah I washed my hair the shampoo and conditioner I bought with me were are from Necessaire I love this brand it's LA based very Californian comes under their clean beauty um, but very functional they just infuse all of their body care hair care with vitamins and minerals and it's very multi-functional in terms of you know helping rebuilding strengthening that kind of thing without perfume really big thing when it comes to body care and and sometimes hair care i just cannot have too much fragrance even with skincare and i used to be a bit more you know, okay with it, but now as I'm getting older, I just can't really do that much fragrance when it comes to skincare, especially body care. Like I said, I've got this really bad rash on my legs, but right now I'm gonna do a little bit of skincare. Take my Oura ring off, I don't wear it. It's the only time I don't wear it is when I'm doing my skin. I don't really clog, I wanna clog the inner workings with um, creams and things. actually really loving this Advanced Night Repair Jelly. I think the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair is a line that I've used for so many years. So many people use the serum, the Advanced Night Repair Serum because of me. It's just one of kind of my OG skincare products that you can use morning and night. It, it's not just because the name says Advanced Night Repair. It's a very rebuilding, um, repairing kind of hydrating serum but you can use it during the day as well you don't have to have to i don't but it's not an absolute no this is very hydrating for um, a gel cleanser too and 
And yeah, speaking of the same line, I didn't bring a day eye cream with me. I packed super quick for this trip. <laughs> I'm normally much more organized, but I'm using the Advanced Night Repair Supercharged Eye during the day as well. It's one of my favorite eye creams ever. So it's no great big loss because I really enjoy using it. It's very jelly, hydrating, just really gives you that kind of like, I slept full eight hours look when you wake up which is what we want. Um, what else did I bring? So after that, I love to add hydration back to my skin. Always, never ever without my mist. Dermalogica, the Hyaluronic Ceramide Mist, and then straight over that while my skin is still wet, I use the Rode Glazing Milk. Oh, I'm so obsessed with this product. It's just so beautifully kind of hydrating and it leaves my skin immediately glazed, I guess, as it says in the description. Plump, always after plumpness. And when I'm away, I don't change my skincare. I might bring smaller versions of products, but it's still the same ingredients during the day. Vitamin C, never, ever, ever not use vitamin C and hyaluronic acid but I've already had hyaluronic acid in my cleanser, I've had it in my glazing milk, I've had it in my mist. Between that, I'm gonna add a little bit of vitamin C serum. Medicate, C Tetra, I bought the Lux with me. It's a, a lipid form, so it feels like oil when you put it on your skin, but it's not oily. This one has a very pleasant orange scent, which I actually really love. But I wear my vitamin C during the day because it's best friends with SPF. It, it helps protect my skin from UV damage, oxidative stress. So that's why I wear vitamin C during the day and not in the evening. During the day is about protection and evening is about repairing. And over that, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the Medicaid. This is their Hydrate B5 Intense. It's nearly finished, so I bought a backup hyaluronic acid with me just in case I run out whilst I'm here. Hyaluronic acid is something that everyone should have in their skin routine regardless of skin type. Whatever your skin type is you should have hyaluronic acid. It's the thing that gives you hydration. Um, and then today I'm going to use the La Mer moisturizing fresh cream. Like I said a bit earlier this is new from them. It's um, a kind of like gel water cream. Very good for the upcoming hot weather that I'm guessing we're gonna have. It's very warm here today where I am in Spain. Oh God, it just feels beautiful on my skin. Forever a La Mer lover. Can we just discuss the glassiness of my skin in just a few products. This is all you need guys. And then on top of that, a little bit of the Mecca Cosmetica. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything everywhere. So annoying. SPF, definitely one of my favorites. I worked with them on the launch of this into the new UK. If you don't know who Mecca Cosmetica are, they are an Australian brand. Um, they just do SPF like no other, but they launched Mecca Cosmetica SPF into the UK, I think around this time last year. Um, I worked with them on the launch and the minute I got the product to try, I just knew, I, I, you know, I was like, this is the best SPF I've ever used. And I've used it ever since. It's actually crazy that I haven't used anything else and I get sent so much. I've actually bought three with me to do a reel with whilst I'm here, just to give people options of other brands that I do actually love. Like I love other SPFs, but this one is the ultimate for me. It's also got a primer built in with it. So it's kind of like an SPF primer and under makeup when I wear it, it just is the most, I don't know, it's the perfect base. I My makeup never slides off. It's just really comfortable. It doesn't pill. It, it's just beautiful and I absolutely love it. Find the lid. 
Um, and they now do it in miniature size, which I was conveniently sent a couple of weeks ago. And I thought, oh, I'm going to save that for my trip because I normally bring just the full size bottle with me. But that was lucky. And that's my skincare. I think it's taken a few minutes. That's all you need. So during the day, just remember if you get confused with skincare, during the day is about protection and in the evening is about repairing. So protection is your vitamin C's. Hydration is a given always. Hydration day and night, but during the day, vitamin C, SPF, really important. And in the evening, retinols, the ceramides, the rebuilding, um, especially for healthy aging, which is what we love. Okay, so I'm genuinely not here to go shopping, but it's so beautiful that it's hard not to. And I love fashion, but I'm just swinging the camera around and show you Zara's flagship store. There it is, in all its glory, floor to ceiling. That is, yeah, that's the Zara flagship store. As I said earlier, like, Karunia is the home of Zara. This is where the founder lives. He was born here. And everything is very Inditex-led. Um, I'm walking past Massimo Duty now, their other big flagship store that they have here. Uh, yeah, I just thought I would do a little bit of shopping, try and get a matcha, and visit one of my favorite areas called Calle Real. It's very old town and beautiful. They've got some lovely boutiques. So, um, my kind of like personal work starts tomorrow, so I'm having another chill kind of sightseeing day, I guess, even though I've been here quite a few times before, but it's just beautiful to walk around in and the weather is glorious. Look at that view behind me. Okay, so I Google mapped where to buy the best matcha and it seems that this place, Wackle, is the one. Everyone here says this is where you're going to get the best matcha, so here we are. I'm going to try it. The one thing I don't like in Spain is the milk. You know, I'm funny with my milk, I drink raw milk, but these are one of, this is one of the things that I just can't get around, so I have to drink pasteurised milk if I want a matcha, so I'm not going to drink them that much, I just really wanted one. Um, they obviously don't do raw and I don't drink plant milk so um, this is pure organic matcha with normal like fresh pasteurized milk so oh yeah that's good that's a nice smooth but not bitter matcha I'm glad I found this place <laughs> just got home back to my beautiful cabana I did a little bit of shopping as you probably saw I bought myself the Loewe um, basket bag it's kind of like a straw bag I've wanted it for ages and it was a great price kind of like euro conversion here so I did pick that up but I also picked up oh and yeah by the way I couldn't wait to use it so it was straight out the bag I picked up some different varieties of tuna. We have this one, it's two tunas just in light olive oil, which I thought looked really good. Um, oh, actually this is not tuna, this is sardines in a can. These just look good quality. Um, again, in just olive oil and it's from um, Galicia. So it's sardines from the coast here. And this one, honestly, look at this tuna. This was quite an expensive one, but I feel like I'm becoming a bit of a tuna vlogger. But anyway, I had to get those from this really lovely health shop in, um, in Santa Cruz, which is just along the, the coast from Mera, where I'm staying. That's been 
my day to day just chilled. Like I, I did a little work this morning, went into town this afternoon. The weather is just absolutely stunning. And now I think I'm going to venture down to the beach, which if I turn my camera around is kind of here. This is like a cove here and the water is just kind of turquoise crystal clear. And I'm going to get in the sea because it's still hot. It doesn't get dark here till about 11 o'clock at night. Um, yeah, let's go see what it's like. Remember my Provence vlog when I showed you the swimsuit, the Hunza G one that was left in my room? Um, I brought this with me because in my opinion, they are the most flattering, just beautifully fitting swimsuits around. Yes, they are super expensive, but they are such an investment because I'm gonna have this piece for such a long time. I mean, not that I bought this one, it was gifted to me really kindly, but I'm gonna get this one in black. This is green which is really nice, but I think I'd like the black one as well just to have. But they're just super high cut. They elongate your legs. They tuck in at the waist. They support my boobs without having to worry. Yeah, I just, I am now a Hunza G fan. Just thought I would share that because it's always nice to have feedback, especially when you're not that confident in swimsuits. And, you know, I know I might get feedback for this or, you know, comment saying, what are you talking about? But I'm not the best when I when it comes to swimwear. I don't feel comfortable. I don't love my body enough to just feel super comfortable wearing kind of bikinis. Um, so I always choose a swimsuit. I have, my breasts aren't really very supported. Um, you know, I've lost a lot of elasticity in them over the years and these just, yeah, it just fits so, so well. And I think they make me just feel very curvy, but flattering at the same time. So as I was saying earlier, I've had this kind of rash on my legs and I think it's just where I shave. Uh, it just always happens to me. And um, if I use a body wash that perhaps has a lot of fragrance in it, I basically I compromise the barrier on the bottom of my legs. And it's weird because I do skincare and I know about skincare, but just, I find it hard to keep them really, really hydrated. I don't love a sticky moisturizer underneath my clothes. So sometimes I just won't moisturize. So I tend to do it more at night if I've had a shower in the evening and I'll put kind of body oil or moisturizer on to go to bed. But if I do it during the day, I'll body brush in the morning. So I'm effectively kind of exfoliating and then having a shower and then not putting moisturizer on and you know then shaving in the evening. Um, it's just compromising my skin barrier. But since I've been here, I've been up in the night, the heat, it's been hot in my room as well. Um, my legs are just so super itchy and I've kind of scratched them to the point where they're almost bleeding. So that doesn't look very pretty. I've got shorts on, I'm hoping the sun is gonna help. This is the first time I've worn shorts this year, but um, I'm also hoping this salt in the sea, it's very salty here in the Northern Spain. And I'm really hoping that that is gonna relieve it somewhat. But I got the um, Uriage body wash that I use at home, thank God, and it's really been helping already. And then a kind of oily balm from the same brand and I put that on this morning and I wore linen trousers so I didn't have anything kind of like cloying and sticking to my legs. And they feel a bit better already. So I'm just gonna carry on, continue with that. It's summer now and I just, I don't wanna feel self-conscious about not having my, um, about having my legs out. So I'm gonna about to go down a very steep hill. So I might just switch you off till I get there, just in case I fall. It's just the most beautiful evening. I'm at my cousin's house, about to have some dinner. She set the table behind. Um, I did go to the beach. I didn't film because the beach was packed and they sw they sunbathe topless here there's a lot of kids and i'm still you know getting my camera out and just like kind of vlogging is i'm, I'm getting used to it so i think i'm going to go in the morning and i think that um it will just be less busy be quiet but let me just swing my camera around and show you the sunset that i'm witnessing right now here comes bally hey bally this is my cousin's dog hey Bally. What you gonna do? Bally. What you gonna do? 
Squish a ball. Oh, come on then. Come on. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Oh, that's a good boy, making a wish with Miss Tilly. Hey, Bryce. Hello. I am about to eat some grilled fish salad, which looks so good. <laughs> currently Thursday. I'm still in Spain. Um, just had a lovely meal last night, ended my shopping trip for the day, went back. I'm actually here on work capacity so I'm not really doing that much. If you're thinking this vlog is quite sporadic, it's purely because I'm not technically on holiday. I am here for work. Well, it's actually my own work and this is what brings me to today. Um, I came here to visit my cousin. My cousin is in textile and I'm going to say design um, and I'm going to be working with her from now um, to launch something possibly in the future but I've come to speak to her and work with her this week on some ideas that I have. I am currently sitting outside her office right now and she's given me per permission and I'm going to take you through it all. Yeah basically just see inside a kind of like her operation I guess which is great. Um, so that's today. Today's a full working day for me um, and yeah I'm very much looking forward to this new chapter I guess in my life. Still related to everything that I do but it's just something that I'm thinking about doing on the side. So let's go. Morning. How are we? feeling excited about this part of my journey I know it's just like the most annoying thing when people say to you oh I don't want to tell you but you know I'm just I'm not ready to like share those things but it's going to be amazing and I'm excited about it but now I've come into town because you know me and bread I have found a bakery here that does fermented sourdough um, and I bought some the other day it's really really good so I've driven 20 minutes to come get it again but here we are it's called Tahona or no there it is and let's go in they have amazing beautiful fresh sourdough they also have cakes that I don't eat and local empanada which is like a filled pastry very typical of this region This is the bread that I've been having for breakfast every morning. It's really good. It's actually spelt sourdough, something you know that I buy at home. I always seek out the healthiest options. They have a lot of fresh bread here. Like, you know, it's a thing in Europe, eating bread with every meal. Um, but I knew that I wanted to find something that, you know, suited me um, without me just feeling bloated so much. Spelt and the sourdoughs are just so much friendlier on my gut. So that's why I love it. But if you're looking for bread in Spain and they have a tahona, um, that's where you'll find it. Good morning, guys. I am up and out early today because I thought I would take you into the center of Coruña and take you around one of the 
kind of like biggest fresh food markets here. Now, I posted something on my stories yesterday evening about Whole Foods. So whilst I've been here on my Instagram stories, if you don't follow me there, please do. Um, I'll leave my handle in the description. But on my Instagram stories, I've been showing that I'm eating quite a lot of fruit. Now, I don't normally do this when I'm at home just because, you know, uh, it's just I'll either eat banana in the afternoon for energy or I'll have an apple with some peanut butter but I don't eat tons and tons of fruit so maybe it's just something that my community over there haven't seen but whilst I'm here the produce is so incredible that I've been eating a lot of fruit I've just been eating peaches and cherries and melon and because I love it I don't not love fruit but of course I'm having a lot of kind of feedback from people saying are you not worried about this sugar intake whilst you're there and eating so much fruit. And my answer to this is always, look at your diet as a whole first. Are you eating a lot of ultra processed food? Are you drinking excess alcohol, etc.? Before think worrying about eating too much fruit. So I eat a completely whole food diet, which means I eat all food in its raw form. All fruit, all vegetables, meat, fish, nuts, pulses, etc. They are in their raw form. That's what whole food means. So I don't worry at all about eating too much fruit. I never get reactive hyperglycemia anymore. My sugar levels are stable and I'm balanced all day. And I truly believe it's because I eat a whole food diet. So in answer to your question, it was a very long one. No, I don't worry at all about eating too much fruit. So back to this morning and I'm heading now to, yeah, the biggest food, fresh food market in Karunia. It's huge. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna walk around, maybe pick up some bits. I've been many times before and it's really, really good. Walking straight into the fish counter or the fish room. It is just, well, Langostinas, these are barnacles. These are really like a delicacy here in Spain, especially at, in, uh, at Christmas time. I don't love seeing live food like this, but I, I eat fish. So this is as fresh as it can be. The coast here is incredible for fresh fish. It's a really rough coast in terms of the sea and it churns up and it's much more saltier. And it just makes the seafood taste incredible. I mean, if you come to Crunia, I really highly recommend, or Northern Spain, Northern Spain on this coast, I really highly recommend eating seafood whilst you're here. Look how fresh. So this is definitely not my favorite section, which is the meat, but for vlogging purposes, I'm going to show you anyway, because we're in Spain and jamón is a delicacy here. These chips, crisps, are made here. They are from Coruña and they are only fried in olive oil. So if I was gonna eat crisps, they would be it. And actually there's a delicatessen near my house that actually sells them now. So they used to be like a real exclusive crisp that only sold in Selfridges. But um, no, they actually do them very near me. Now this counter isn't really for the faint hearted, but this is a delicacy um, in Coruña. It's called gyros and it's basically chickpeas cooked with tripe. So it's definitely not one, even when I ate meat, that I wanted to eat, but they love it here. Um, it is delicious, but not something that I enjoy eating. And now in my favorite section, fruit and veg. The produce here is something else. And I think like this market is the epitome of what I would call whole food. So they've got fish downstairs, meat on the second floor, and all this colorful, beautiful fruit and veg, courgettes. Look at the peppers, they're just enormous and stunning. Tomatoes here taste incredible. The climate is, is um, you know, optimal for tomatoes to grow and taste really, really good, the soil too. Um, it's just heavenly looking at all this color, I love it. 
I know you're probably thinking, Donna, why are you getting so excited about food? But this is a huge part of my life and my lifestyle now, so. Nice wine counter. We have some fresh pasta here, a very Spanish kind of deli section. Lots of local. Oh, we've got, we probably find some different tuna in here. Let's see. I'm actually fully into these very bougie boutique tuna brands. We've got mussels, razor clams, scallops, sardinas. They're razor clams, um, they're scallops again. But we've got another nice tuna here. This is yellowfin tuna in olive oil. This is the one that I bought yesterday that I showed you when I got back to my cabana. The Conserveria. Oh no, they're sardines. I did buy the tuna one, they don't have any, but this is the brand that I bought yesterday. This brand I swear I've seen in the UK before. They're sardines. Um, they have this at Cowdery Park, I've seen it before. But we've got tuna here. Look how beautiful these packaging are. Honestly, tuna connoisseur over here now. Um, but they have some beautiful sardines here. Sardines picante, so it's a little bit spicy. Really, really skin food in a jar right here. Okay, so I have found some tuna that I actually want to try here. They've got sardines. Popo is octopus, very classic dish of Corona here. But this one is red tuna atun rojo. Um, I'm gonna buy a tin of this and I'm also gonna buy this because the guy that owns this little section said that these are like the most natural kind of form of tuna. They're from a, the under the belly part of the uh, fish. So I'm definitely going to try those. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with tuna all of a sudden. I just love how luxury, high end and fantastic these look. So I'm gonna buy these two. Nineteen euros on tuna, but can't wait to try it. Okay, this is artisan cheese right here. Fresh, I'm sure they'll have some raw options. We've got good local fresh cheese here and bread. Love fresh bread and pastillas, cakes, which is not part of my sugar-free diet. This really is the land of incredible, fresh, good tasting produce here. I can't it's, it would be one reason why I would want to move somewhere where they just had such, such good quality foods to eat. And I just feel like I can eat without question here a lot of the time, which is so much easier for me. But this is where locals come every day to get their produce. Look at these spring onions. They are enormous, hand reference size. Huge sprig spring onions. Again, lots and lots of tomatoes. I mean, you can just feel the antioxidants looking at it. These tomatoes look incredible. Berries, peaches, different kind of mushrooms. I love clothes shopping, but seriously, like I love being in this kind of environment, looking at, at health. It's a huge part of wellness. We've got a lovely florist here, beautiful flowers. They do arrangements and just endless, endless counters of fruit and veg. And then we have some tea. Ooh, a tea counter with dates. This is very me. I actually might buy some. I actually want to start drinking green tea more without a tea bag it's something that I'm actually called out about a lot and I do choose wisely with my tea bags I use the clipper and it's an organic cotton tea bag so no microplastics but going forward I'm going to start drinking my green tea as leaves dried leaves because it's just that much more healthier she's got a lot here I'm swinging the camera around um, and just here these are all different kinds of green teas I've got green tea with mango they're all organic 
we have a citrus green tea, um, jasmine, gunpowder. I'm purchasing the Sencha green tea leaves. So that was the fresh fruit and veg produce market. Isn't it just amazing? I actually bought, like you saw, tuna and I got some green tea, sencha green tea leaves. And I also bought some green tea, tea with turmeric and ginger in. I've never tried that before. So, um, and it was just super cheap. I think it was like seven euros for 200 grams of green tea, which is incredible. I don't think we'd get those kind of prices in the UK. So I'm actually gonna come back and stock up before I go home. But, um, I hope you enjoyed that little section of the vlog. Um, it's not hugely exciting walking around a, um, a market, but it just aligns with me. It's very DB. I love these things. I live for these things. Thought I would have a little bit of brunch. I'm in a kind of bakery cafe called Pandalino, um, and I'm gonna modify the menu slightly and just have smoked salmon, avocado, poached eggs on toast which is always super difficult when you're out of the UK to kind of just modify your food, but they've been really helpful. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of work. Okay, so my order here is smoked salmon, as I said, poached eggs, avocado on toast, and green tea. Okay guys, so I'm in the flagship Zara store and I'm going up to the very top floor because this is where they hold special collections um, and it's stunningly beautiful. It's actually like arriving to an almost like personal showroom. They have some Zara home collections here, sporadic kind of special collections and the store is simply stunning so i'm going to walk you to the front they have like a, a an apartment installation here looking out onto this beautiful view isn't it just incredibly beautiful Okay, so I'm trying on a very nice satin two-piece. It's sort of very pyjama which is in their special collection. The trousers are small and I think they might actually be a little bit too big for me, but I just feel like this is just a classic, I don't know, chic throw-on. What do you think? Okay, second piece is this white cropped blazer, which I've actually got on with the satin trousers. Sorry, but it is absolutely stunning. I'm not trying too many pieces on here because I actually did a massive haul the other day. So I will show you that. And I don't want to take too much stuff home with me, but I just love here that I can find, I can get pieces that I just might not be able to find in Zara at home. This is, an absolute yes. It is my last full day here today in Spain. I am flying home tomorrow morning. I haven't really vlogged that much of this trip because I didn't do a lot of sightseeing. It wasn't like your average kind of holiday. I came here for a purpose. I'm sure you've probably already got an idea from the factory that you saw or her warehouse you saw the other day. But um, I'll talk about that in the future. But yeah, this is my last full day. I've just been 
kind of just spending time with family. Um, I don't like to put the camera in their face, so I've just not vlogged so much. I didn't want to vlog her house, etc. But it's just been really nice. I thought I was like fully in work mode when I got here. And then as I got here and just spent time in the sun, the weather's been incredible. I really just feel like I've recharged my batteries. It's, you know, coming up for halfway through this year. It hasn't been the greatest start for me, particularly with my rotator cuff tear and the injury and kind of recovering from that and just getting back on my feet. So I just feel completely ready now for the next part of this year, the next six months. I'm going to get home, recenter, refocus, and I just feel completely energized by it. Um, yeah, I've done a lot of shopping. I'm going to talk you through some of the bits that I bought whilst I'm here. A lot of it is Inditex Zara led. So I'm really sorry if you're not a Zara fan. I am. It kind of holds a special place because um, for me and here is the home of Zara. It's where, where it was born. So I'm going to take you upstairs now and show you some of the things that I bought whilst I was here. You're probably going to be thinking, Donna, why on earth have you bought so many things in Zara when you can probably get them in the UK? And it's true, but Zara here is a lot cheaper than it is in the UK. They're all part of the Inditex group, Zara, Massimo Duty, Zara Home, which is where I bought most of these pieces from is, yeah, it's just a lot cheaper. And it's obviously a little bit cheaper to buy in the EU now as well. So this is what I got. I'll start with what I got for my sister. Um, she's just recently renovated her bathroom. It's kind of stone and black. It just looks really beautiful. So I picked her up this bath mat, which is kind of like a weave with the black through it. I did send her a picture. She said she liked it. So I picked her up that from Zara Home. Also, the most beautiful dress. My sister's very elegant in the way she dresses. And I just thought this would be so pretty for her. It's black linen and it has a kind of collared halter neck, waisted, and then it's a long maxi. And the bottom is just finished with a, a kind of like sewed hem. I think this will look really pretty on her. So I bought her that. And also a pair of very, very wide leg, almost palazzo style white linen trousers very, very wide leg at the bottom. Again, she just loves kind of high waist, wide leg trouser. That was what I got for my sister. I also bought her a big bag of green tea. Everyone's got green tea when I go home. Um, I bought this for my mum. So my mum is the biggest crochet fan. If she can find a piece of crochet or a clothing that's crocheted, she's all over it. And I saw this in Zara. It's one of their special pieces, which was up in the um, exclusive floor. So I know she's gonna absolutely love that and she will just wear this to death through the summer. It's kind of just got tassely bits that hang off it. And for me, I bought some pieces that, yeah, I definitely think I'll probably find them in the UK, but I don't, I really am loving the waistcoat this season. I know it came out last year, but I've kind of embraced it this year a bit more. So this suit is linen tapered leg with the waistcoat that goes with it. It's very classic. I'll just be able to wear that over and over again. Pray the weather holds up in the UK so I can wear these bits. So that's kind of like a casual piece. And then you saw me trying this on the other day, I think this blazer. And then I went in yesterday and saw that they had the trousers to match. So this is now a suit. Again, a tapered, more tailored version of the other suit that I've just bought with this cropped blazer. This one is just an absolute keeper. If I see a white suit that I love and it fits me well, um, I'm all over it. So I'm really happy with that. I think it's a really beautiful set. I also got a couple of jerseys, a vest, and this is kind of like an interesting shape top it gathers in at the waist and then just kind of comes across the neck. I bought a separate waistcoat, which is a little bit longer. The material is kind of like a thick cotton. Um, I think this is really smart to be able to wear with a pair of jeans um, and heels. I have a black one from COS and I've worn it quite a lot already. So when I saw this, I thought, yeah, I'm gonna get lots of use out of that. Knitwear, a lovely sheer 
jumper. I tend to like these kind of um, tops now to wear out in the evening. I have a lot of events with what I do as a career, lots of dinners. And I just think with a tailored pair of trousers, heels, and one of these kind of like silk knit tops, jumpers, it's just a really nice alternative to like dressing up. It's almost like just, yeah, it's kind of dressed, but casual. Um, I love that look. So that's, I'm leaning more towards that as I'm getting a bit older. Um, I have, I also bought a satin black pajama set, which isn't pajamas, but it looks like pajamas. It's so beautiful on. And just a pair of sand colored trousers. These are just so first off every day wear with trainers, heels, jumper, shirts. I've got quite a few variations of these. These are just a lighter material for the summer. So that's clothing from Zara. I also got this very cute red little kind of like bucket bag. Red sew-in for the summer. And I got some little matching shoes with just a small heel and then they go around the ankle. I'm a small heel girl now. I can't do big heels anymore. So that was my Zara haul. And then I got a couple of pieces in Massimo Duty. They do the best kind of knit weave. I put this on my stories the other day because as soon as I bought it, I had it on. It's a cardigan in that kind of close knit. So it's like a summer cardigan. It's just great to throw on when you want to look smart, but still warm. I got a gray V-neck in the same kind of um, weave, just a little bit more open than the other one. And some black linen trousers, which I didn't actually own. Wide leg at the bottom. I've worn them this week. They are super comfortable. Really love those. So that's my clothing haul. And then I did bring an empty suitcase out with me. I pre-prepared myself for the, some of the things that I was gonna buy whilst I was here because I've come here many times before in the past and bought a lot and then just wouldn't be, couldn't get it home. I did buy myself some Zara washed linen bedding which I can, again, get in the UK, but it's much cheaper here. I think it's about 30 or 40 pounds cheaper here. And then of course you've got the conversion of the Euro to pounds as well. So it is quite a saving that I'm making. So I bought myself the whole washed linen bedding from Sarah Home in white. And then in the, in the special editions floor of Zara, they had this stunning bedspread with pillows to match. Um, which I've pre-ordered and they're going to send to me because, um, so I'm going to just change my whole bedding setup, which I think will be nice when I'm creating content. I've had the same kind of bedding since I moved in my flat 18 months now. So it's just going to be a whole refresh and it's really, really beautiful and very summery. So, um, and I love Zara home bedding. It's gorgeous. So I bought myself that. I also saw in Zara home, we used to have a Zara home in Brighton where I live, but they closed it very annoying so I can't just pop in there now I'm sure you've seen in my kitchen when I open my cupboard I've got all the glass jars with labels on but this one is a honey and it's got the honey attachment on the lid I died isn't that really beautiful so I also bought myself that and then obviously all my teas lots and lots of teas and my tuna from earlier in the week, my tins of tuna that I'm taking home. So I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions about any of the pieces, I will try and find links to everything if I can, pop it in the description. But uh, yeah, just let me know in the comment box if you wanna know any more about anything that I bought. Today is really bad weather. I'm gonna take you out on the balcony. It's such a shame. My last day here is deciding to be very UK-like and rain. What a difference a few days make. But it's still warm. It's got that kind of warmth about it that just, you still know that you're somewhere with gorgeous climate. In the UK, if it's raining today, we'd all be indoors having some kind of duvet day. But yeah, I'm gonna miss the view, but I am ready to get myself packed for my flight tomorrow morning.